Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I decided to try um, some wigs that I got for some videos that I planned on doing. So yeah, I figured I'd wear it for this one, but this is one of my favorite times of the month. We are gonna be doing um, April's Fright Crate. It actually came yesterday and um, I was waiting until I had a chance to film it. Still working on my lighting. We'll try it right there. We'll see how that works. But yeah, this is March's box. Hold it up. Let me tell you what the themes are. It is Leprechaun, Jason X, Salem's Lot, Teen Wolf, and Rawhead Rex, which I watched part of because I had never seen it before. Um, it takes place in Ireland. There's some sort of a devil that's conjured. I didn't watch the whole movie. I didn't, it was a little bit boring. I couldn't hear it real well. It wasn't a great copy, so it, I may try and watch it again, but I think that's why it was picked because obviously March, um, St. Patrick's Day. So I can see Leprechaun and that being chosen because they're Irish. So, the quote on the outside of the box this month is, Everybody's a Mad Scientist and Life is Their Lab by David Kornberg. So, that is the little quote. Um, this is how it came. Hopefully, nothing inside is damaged. Like I said, I have not opened it yet. Um, this is the first box that I've ever gotten that looks like somebody stepped on it. So, I'm hoping broken is I'll have to contact them and let them know. Okay, so and again Fright Crate is a monthly subscription box before I start digging into this. Um, there's a $20 box and a $30 box. This $30 box. I've never done the $20 box. I'm not sure what it looks like. Um, the $20 box is two to three items. The large box is supposed to be five, six. Last month we only got four because the autograph was valued high. So let's get into this. The first item is very, very cool from Jason X. And I did watch this the other day. I don't I think Jason X is hysterical. Like it's just funny. I love watching it. It's one of those films I go back to just because I think it's hilarious. So yeah, there's the mask. It's got the, we did get a Jason mask before, um, just a standard like hockey mask. So that'll be cool. I am planning on hanging all of the, like the autographs and these things up. I haven't figured out where I'm gonna do that yet. So I have everything in a box. I was really hoping that Teen Wolf was going to be on the shirt, and I'm kind of sad that it's not, but this looks like a really cool shirt, so it is Leprechaun, and this, I believe, is a women's medium. This is the first time, I think, I think last month I got the women's, but this is a women's medium. What does it say? I didn't even read it. It says, your luck just ran out. Yeah, this is a cool shirt. I will definitely be wearing this next St. Patrick's Day. I am really sad that Teen Wolf was not on the shirt. I was really hoping that that was going to be the shirt item, but it's okay. So it looks like the Teen Wolf item, which these are cool, and I would love to start wearing contacts again. They are obviously replica Michael J. Fox shades. And it says Teen Wolf right there. Those are cool. They're just standard, you know, Ray-Ban looking pretty similar shape to my glasses. So those are cute. We'll put those up there if they will stay. Let's see. The pin this month is the Demon from Rawhead Rex. Like I said, I tried watching it. It's a little cheesy, but I can see why it was chosen as a theme because it does take place in Ireland. There's a professor and his family that go over there. This thing gets conjured. I only got about 15 minutes in. Um, 
It looks like the mask was done by the Cereal Resin Company. They did the figure and the mask. So there's the card. So. Mr. Barlow is the bust on the figure from Salem's Lot, which if you have never seen the original Salem's Lot, like the 1977 version, definitely watch it. It's very, very good. This is actually a very cool figure. If I can hold him straight, that would be awesome. So that's Mr. Barlow. He is the um, silent partner, the antique shop that moves into Salem's Lot. Turns out to be a vampire. Um, but yeah, if you've never seen the original, there, there you go. It's not quite so. His head's very shiny. Um, and the little like optical stick cross that the kid makes. So yeah, definitely um, the new one, newer one with Rob Lowe is good. But definitely if you've never seen the original, definitely check it out. Let's see. So we got the Jason X custom mask. The Mr. Barlow bust, the leprechaun shirt, the raw head rex pen, and the Teen Wolf sunglasses that I will have to put somewhere. Um, so that was everything in the Fright Crate box. Next month's Fright Crate is I Love the 80s Part 2. So they're doing Pet Cemetery, The Lost Boys, Child's Play, and Maniac. And it's supposed to have a very good autograph again next month. I'm not going to get next month's box only because the only theme that I'm like super obsessed with is The Lost Boys. It's one of my favorite movies, but I can't justify spending because it's almost $40 with shipping if I'm only liking one of the themes. Like Pet Cemetery and Child's Play are awesome classic movies, but I'm just like, eh, if I don't have merchandise from them, it's not the end of the world. So I'm probably not going to get next month's box. I really only get them if I like at least three of the themes. Like, I'm, like, super excited about three of the themes. Like, it does sound like a really good box. Like I said, Pet Cemetery, The Lost Boys, and Child's Play are awesome themes. I've never seen Maniac, so I don't know. But, yeah, that's next month's box. There are still boxes available, so if those themes are interesting to you, you're excited about it. Like I said, there's supposed to be a really good autograph in it. So... Definitely go and get one. I will leave the link for them down below. And that was everything. I think this was a good box. I definitely like it better than last month's box. Um, so yeah, thank you guys as always so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of unboxings and I do get Fright Crate regularly. Don't get it every single month, but I get it often enough that if you're just here for the Fright Crates, subscribe. And again, thank you guys, and I will see everyone in my next video. Bye, guys.